the Green Party, Independent Green Party, Green TV, the show that focuses on independent Green Party, Green Party candidates for state, local, and federal office, and positive Green New Deal solutions. I'm Brooklyn Kinley with in Green Party, Green TV, focuses independent Green Party, Green Party candidates. And I'm Gail Farrell Parker, independent Green I'm Gail Farrell Parker, candidate for U.S. House in Virginia's District 1. I'm a businesswoman, a retired Air Force veteran, and governmental budget analyst. I'm a mother of three, a grandmother of four. I ask for your vote for three reasons. I want to remove the barrier at the federal level that prevents the building of rail. The current policies say to municipal and state governments, if you build roads, the federal taxpayers will pay 80%. If you build rail, the federal taxpayers will pay 20%. The playing field should be leveled so that our municipal and state governments can solve transportation issues with mass transit. More trains, less traffic. I want to ensure we adhere to the Arms Export Control Act and to the U.S. Constitution so that we have someone to lobby on the sale of arms to foreign governments. The U.S. Constitution stipulates that the U.S. Congress is the approval authority for the sale of arms, not the State Department or the Department of Defense. Arms sales made without the approval of the U.S. Congress are illegal, and therefore we have no one to lobby if we disagree with the sales. And lastly, I ask for your vote because this election is about your tax dollars and our children and our grandchildren's future. The federal debt, now at $17.5 trillion, makes the interest payment on that debt this year the sixth largest expense in the federal budget, just the interest payment. By building rail and stopping the illegal sale of arms which contribute to wars abroad, we can grow the economy, create new echo jobs, cut dependence on foreign oil, balance the budget and eventually pay off the federal debt. Rail returns $25 to the community for every dollar invested. Folks, I have faith in building rail and in alternative energy sources like solar, wind, and geothermal. Dedicated passenger rail tracks will greatly improve the quality of life for folks in District 1 and, in fact, for the entire Commonwealth. Fairfax County is forecast to grow by 1.6 million people in the next 20 years and, coincidentally, by 1.6 million new jobs. New dedicated passenger rail tracks, more trains, more often, will ensure that folks in District 1 will continue to have viable access to those good paying jobs. Rail will make us safer, help us have cleaner air, cleaner water. We will create new green New Deal jobs, jobs in solar energy, wind jobs, geothermal jobs, rail jobs. Echo for the economy. We can grow the economy and reduce the debt by building rail. That is why I am the best choice in this race. Citizens want new dedicated rail tracks with more trains that run more often, Williamsburg to Charlottesville and Richmond to the national capital region. Send me to Washington so you, you can count on me to get the job done. More trains, less traffic. Vote for Gail for Rail, Glenda Gail Parker on the ballot November we need more Green Party candidates on the ballot. Independent Green Party, Green TV is about Green Party candidates and Green New Deal eco jobs for the economy solutions. Green Party eco-capitalism. Prices must tell the environmental truth. The Green Industrial Revolution. Solar jobs, wind jobs, geothermal jobs, rail jobs, weatherization jobs, conservation jobs, efficiency jobs. Building green neighborhoods, bikeable, walkable, pedestrian-friendly communities. The biggest way people give up power is by not knowing that we have it to start with. Well, we are not our choices. Their candidates are not our candidates. Their economy is not our economy. Their government is not our government. Their prisons are not our prisons. Their police are not our police. And their endless wars are not our wars. And their recovery for the few is not our recovery.
Pharrell, Pharrell Parker, American hero, my buddy. Uh, as uh, you said one time when I was on the show here, Gail, uh, in the setting where Brooklyn was, Karen Campbell is with us today, and he's on the hot seat. <laughs> so you're kind of on the hot seat, but we've got a yes. clever oh, idea, a fun show today that we want to do, and we want to show Gail's baby pictures. We really want to introduce you to Gail Farrell Parker, a historic figure in Virginia politics. Gail Farrell Parker is on the ballot now for the 11th time in a row, 11 years in a row. Gail Farrell Parker is the only woman in the history of Virginia to be on the ballot twice for U.S. Senate. Gail Farrell Parker is, of course, a retired Air Force officer, a successful green businesswoman, a mama, and a grandmama. And so we're going to go now and, Gail, look at some of the pictures of your life. Uh, I feel a little bit like Ralph Emery. Was that the old guy? This is your life. Remember that <laughs> right, show? Right, right. And, uh, and take a look at your life and let people get to know you uh, better. You're Gail, the first picture now. That, and so that's why we want you to know more about Gail and more about her background. It's a very significant office that Gail is running for. And it's important that you know who she is and where she comes from and what Gail Farrell Parker, the Independent Green Party, stands for. Gail, uh, we want to start with uh, which picture now? Well, the first picture coming up is a picture of my father. But before we I start telling you about that, I would like to say that I feel that it's important that uh, we run for public office because uh, it, when we are on the ballot, we're participating in the debate, and we have an opportunity to influence policy. It's an uh, opportunity that we would not have as an individual voter. So it's important that we participate, and it's very important that women participate and have uh, an impact on policy. So this first picture is of my father. Uh, he What's was his name, Gail? R.J. Parker. Uh, he's no longer with us in this world, but uh, yeah, he was uh, my father, and uh, he was a... Uh, Navy man, looks Navy, like. He was a Navy man. I'm a baby boomer. And I'm uh, very pleased to be able to introduce myself uh, to the voters in this way, on this show. Uh, previously, as you know, Carrie, I have insisted that uh, our campaigns are not about me. It's about the issues. And uh, so this is a, a, a big departure from what we have done in the past. But uh, my father was a sailor, uh, came home from the war, and uh, met my mother, uh, Maybelle Davis. Now it's Davis and Maybelle Parsons at the time. She was a lovely woman. And your mama is still alive right now. Yes, she is. How she, old is your mama? Uh, she'll be, uh, well, she had her 90th birthday, I think, wow. last 90th November. birthday. Hi. And a beautiful young woman, indeed, your mother. Yeah. Maybelle? Maybelle. 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 Parsons. Maybelle Parsons. Yes. That's great uh, And uh, one thing I'd like to say, uh, you know, my father um, was a sailor, mm -hmm. and uh, so she said, "Hello, sailor." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, and uh, I was uh, an unusual. Well, I, I guess an unusual kid. Uh, I knew every word practically that my father did I see. because he and taught. He was it. a navy man, and he so taught it to me. That was an interesting vocabulary. Yes, it was. My father was a navy man. I know the very same vocabulary. Yeah. Now there's a lovely little gal right there, mm -hmm. and is that you, Gail? Yes, that's uh, my baby picture, my cute little. How baby old picture. are you there? And you tell us what state you were born in, Arkansas, right? Arkansas, yeah. Where in Arkansas? I was born in a little town called Athens, Arkansas. It had yes. a population of yeah. about 69. What? 69 people. <laughs> yeah. You knew you everyone. Came along and made it 70. <laughs> that's right. Aww. So we're talking to Gail Farrell Parker, independent <laughs> of uh, Athens, Arkansas. Arkansas. Born, born and raised. Born, well born, yes, there. Born yeah. And whose house is that behind there? Is that uh, the house you guys live you in? You know, that was in Texarkana, Arkansas. Texarkana. Do you actually yes. remember that day? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember it. Now, are you, were you uh, first born, second born? First born. So you're the oldest. I'm you know, the oldest. Oldest in oh. the family. Yeah, so they take care of everybody. You're the first baby to come along. Yes, yes. I'm the first of four. And oh. it's Glenda Gale. Glenda Gale right? Parker. So they named, did they name you for someone in the family? I don't think so. I don't know. Linda. This and the next picture here is uh, 
Glenda Gale and Linda Nail, my, my little sister with the uh, traditional pony ride, and that's my grandfather there with the pony. Is that your daddy's daddy or your mama's daddy? My mama's daddy. Oh. Yeah. And what was his name? Sam. 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 We called him Paul Good Sam. Name. Paul Sam. Mm -hmm. And that's a beautiful horse, mm -hmm. beautiful horse as well. And you're still in Arkansas there. That's right, Arkansas. In Arkansas. Paul Sam yes. taking the girls out for a horse ride. Right, and we have a picture of Paul Sam and my grandma. That's him, all yes. from a different ah, angle. Okay. You're so old in that picture. Boy, am I familiar with those bib overhauls. Right. right. Are you? Oh, sure. We used to wear those when we worked on the farm in Tennessee and Kentucky when I grew up. Oh, right. you grew and, up on the farm. Uh, you'd carry your chewing tobacco in the front. Right I see. There. My grandparents were a great influence on me. Uh, we lived with my grandparents for, uh, well, from the time I was about uh, four or five years old until the end of the sixth grade. Okay. Uh, I don't remember my age there, maybe 11 or mm -hmm. so. Around there, yeah. yeah. But um, they had a very big family, and I think we have a picture of the entire family. My mother's uh, five brothers and five sisters. And Are you in this picture we're looking at right now? No, now? just her I'm, uh, mother's I'm family. A little oh, yeah. On the, I'm on the frame. Is that you over there, that little girl with her back to the camera? Yeah, that's me, oh, the pole there. dancer. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. There's Paul Shout Sam. Out, <laughs> and, uh, which, which one of the women there is your mama? Right behind Paul Sam is my mother. Right behind Paul Sam is Right, and, and as you might think, uh, with having a large family like that, uh, well, they grew. We grew up on a truck farm, and so uh, the family grew a, what farm? a truck farm. <clears throat> what is a truck farm? Yeah, yeah. I'm a very curious. <laughs> <laughs> well, a truck farm. Uh, people grow the food that they eat, and oh, uh, that's so what they, they yeah they grew the food they eat. Or What's they, a truck got to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know why. I didn't name it. it. It's just um, what it's called. <laughs> Okay. And um, my grandfather was an expert marksman, mm -hmm. and so they always had food on the table, the meat on the table. Uh, he could. Is that Paul Sam, your grandpa, holding the gun? It is him. Yes, and uh, squirrel. He could. There were no squirrels around the house because he <laughs> kept them thinned out. <laughs> <laughs> did and, you eat squirrel? Oh, of course. Sure, we did too. Yes, yeah. yes. We did too. Fantastic. And uh, I think looks like the same house, Gail. Uh, yes, this is uh, the next picture has a picture of the cousins. The first oh, picture wow. was a picture of the aunts and uncles and my grandparents. Okay. Yeah. Is that you with your hand up there in the bottom left hand frame? No, that's my bottom? cousin Mary Lou. Mary Lou. And uh, in the middle was my cousin Don. He's no longer with us. All right. Where are you, Gail? I'm with the big doll on the Oh, end. the big doll. You're over there all the way on the right. Right. The and uh, I think they wrote a song about Mary Lou, didn't they? I believe they did. <laughs> So Fantastic. That's a good looking crowd. I grew up with lots of family around. <laughs> the cousin. That's very good. The last names. Okay. Gail Pharrell Parker on Independent Green Party Green TV as we move along and go through Gail's uh, picture in life. Now, this is a very serious looking picture coming up next. Gail Pharrell Parker, who is it? <laughs> oh, the next picture is of my great, 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 great grandmother. Goodness gracious. Four greats. You know her name? Uh, I do not. No. I do not. Uh, I pulled the picture from my uh, That's really my cool. Sister. Yeah, she's a full On blood. On your mama's side or daddy's side? Or? From my mother's side. I don't side. even know who my great, 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 great. Is she a Native yeah. American Indian? Is that what you Yes, she say? is. She's full blood Cherokee. Wow. Taking us through. It looks like you got a picture of the local, your hometown church coming up. Yes, it's more than our hometown church. It's the church that I went to uh, church in, and it's the church that my grandmother insisted that we have in our community, a little wow. uh, community by the name of Midway, Arkansas. Okay. And uh, we had church there. Uh, one of my uncles was the minister. Another uncle served as the uh, song leader, okay. and a cousin uh, led the uh, prayers and um, Oh, the whole family. Well, amen. It, it was. Beautiful, it's a family church. church. It's a family church. Well, I'm guessing in that next picture down there that that is you on the right-hand side, and you're looking to be, you're growing up now in these pictures. You look like <laughs> about eight or nine years old. That's correct. Um, that's correct. My little sister standing next to me, Mary Lou on the end, and my cousins uh, Charlotte, okay. Debbie, and Larry in front. Oh. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. Now, we want to make sure it's real quick, and the next one, Gail. <laughs> and the next picture is of my mother and my sixth-grade school teacher who 
married my mother. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was our second well, marriage. We both Small been old. 69 people, your remember? Your sixth grade school teacher married your mother. Yes, oh, I yes, see. Yes. Well, now your mother, I could see, uh, I could see a lot of you in your mother yes, there. Yes. See a lot of that. All right, let's... And we were about to move to Oklahoma. You moved to Oklahoma yes. after she married this uh, interloper. Stud. Yes. <laughs> Stud. <laughs> yes. Was he a good teacher? Yes, he was an excellent teacher. Uh -huh. His best teacher I had. Oh, well, that's You remember good... at sixth grade? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, All I right. do. And next, what do we got? Good uh, the, the next picture is... Uh, is that high school now? It's, uh, yes, it is. It's, uh, I believe that was my junior year in high school. Now you're in Oklahoma soon. There. Oklahoma... And also, as you're going to see in the next picture, musical. Yes. What instrument did you play, Gail? I, I played the clarinet and the saxophone. Oh, the the clarinet. saxophone. So, right. And the Which one did you play the best? Uh, I, well, I played uh, the clarinet the best. I was uh, second Probably chair, easier. first clarinet. I used to be a clarinet uh, player. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. wow. Same. Two? Yeah. Well, the next picture is a picture of my ball team. Oh, basketball. Yes, basketball team. Oh. Uh, great team. Uh, we had a winning team. There's the trophies to prove it wow. right there. You're number 44, aren't you, Gail? I am. I was known as right big at, number 44. Right at the top of the picture. You played the forward? No, God. That's an Darn, awesome picture. Look at that picture. Yeah. That's a Gail from beautiful. Red Park. How'd you guys do? We, we were uh, champions. We didn't make state champion. We tried to go to state, but uh, we went through regional and got beat out in regional. Now we could have made it because uh, then you lost one game, you were out. Now you have to Different. lose two. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. They changed the rules on you. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> What's up next, Gail? The next is my senior graduation picture. Uh, uh, that's all I have to say about that. It's just so, it's <laughs> well, great. Well, pretty awesome, right? Pictures. Let's <laughs> find you the challenge. Look at all find the different hairstyles. There you are, Gail Parker, right down there. That's a lovely picture, Gail. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. There you are, the second one up yep. on the mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. uh, from the bottom. A uh, lot of it. It looks like that it was well. Do you still have that house. outfit? Yes, yeah, so it was. Yeah. <laughs> what, I graduated. What was your question, Brooklyn? I said, does she still have the outfit? <laughs> no. Oh no, that, I don't have that. Oh. Uh, the feathers were provided by the photographer. <laughs> okay. Now you're a married woman in the next picture with your first baby. It looks like. Uh, yes, I got married not too long after high school, and uh, had, there's the baby, the, oh. my son Doug. <laughs> and this looks like this is your are your children when they were little ones, right? Doug in the middle there. That's and, right. Uh, and, and then uh, Sonia and Cassie. Cassie. Yeah. Yes, uh, that was uh, about the age of uh, after uh, our, my marriage broke up. Where, where are you living there? That's in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and you could see. Yeah. And you're exactly. working for the Air Force then, or are you working? I was working yeah. for the Air Force, yes. And by then, are you in the Air Force as well, in not, the reserves? Not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. But in a uniform, look there, yes. now you're in the Air Force. Yes, I, I joined the Air Force Reserve shortly thereafter. Uh, a lot of my friends were in the reserves, and I've always been, my father was... Uh, have you it, always been drawn to it? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Had the picture of my father in his uniform, and I... So I joined. Are you an, an Airman Basic there, Gail, in that's, that picture? That's correct. Airman Basic, uh, Gail wow. uh, yeah, yeah. Parker. That's I'm an Air Force man. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know your stuff. I, mean, I was an Airman Basic once upon a time also. Yeah, it's not something I really you like quickly this picture. <laughs> Next one, I, I really like it. Oh, yeah. uh, the Air Force. Give right. you an award. Looks like you're working for him. Actually, I do did work for him. That was Colonel McEntee, and he was awarding me my <clears throat> commission. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yes, it was. That's a big, big deal. Uh, I but had, you're wearing civvies. Civvies yeah, Yes, they um, wanted to promote me as soon as possible, so, so as soon as they uh, they got the order, they called me in. I was working on the base and, and um, gave me the commission. I think the political system really sucks right now, and just getting a the person with the right chromosomes, you know, with two X chromosomes, is not the solution. Hillary's agenda is not a woman's agenda. That's right. I mean, this is reality. Our fate is together. You know, we are on this small boat, you know, and that boat is not doing so well. Just putting a token woman into the White House is not going to do it, particularly when that token woman comes with the whole history of working for Walmart, whose agenda could be more harmful to the cause of women and children than Walmart that forces their employees onto public assistance and food support. A candidate who's been 
behind closed doors with Goldman Sachs and receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars in speakers fees and who won't release the, the content of those speeches. The candidate who has yet to find a war that she didn't love, who led the charge on Libya, who supported the war in Iraq and only recanted on that, you know, what, like a decade later or so. This is not what women need for the way forward and it's not what society needs. We need a real public interest agenda with a public interest party. That's what my campaign is all about. You're watching the Independent Green Party, Green Party, Green TV. I'm Kerry Campbell, Brooklyn Kenley, Gail Farrell Parker. We're talking about uh, Gail, Far Gail Farrell Parker's life through pictures. We want to introduce you to Gail and make sure you know as much about Gail Farrell Parker. So what's the next picture up, Gail? Well, the next picture is a picture of my home that I left in Oklahoma and when I moved to Virginia. Okay. <laughs> well, then I left Oklahoma and went to the Pentagon, and uh -huh. so the next picture is You were in the, the Pentagon? Pentagon? Yes. <laughs> That's great. Yes, this I, is you uh, in the big old Pentagon, huh? That's me, right. Gail Farrell Parker, you look happy and delighted, and you're wearing green. Right. Oh, you're graduating in the next picture from what? What degree is that, Gail? The master's degree. The master's yeah. degree. Yeah. Nice. It took me eight years to get my undergraduate degree, and it took me about eight years to get my master's degree. From? Because, uh, well, uh, from uh, Central Michigan University, and um, undergraduate degree was from Central State University in Oklahoma. Gail Farrell Parker. Yes. And here, it looks like you're getting promoted again, Gail. I'm getting an award and a rose from General Larson there. Okay. And, and, well, I was in the Pentagon, working in the Pentagon. Gail Farrell Parker. Gail, um, as you run now, for what's the most important issue you want people to know that you're advocating for? Well, uh, for renewable energy and for building rail. We need both of those. Uh, they go hand in hand. Uh, so we need to promote more renewable energy in Fairfax County. We need uh, solar panels on all of our bu public buildings and uh, on our homes and our businesses. And uh, we can uh, we can do that. It's We're working our way through your life through pictures. Uh, what's the next one here, Gail? Well, the next picture is a picture of my family and my brother and uh, my sister, my two little sisters. The next picture is uh, my son's graduation picture. Doug High School? Yes, it is. Yeah, sure I was growing like up. It. Yes, Aww. picture is my son, uh, daughter Sonia. Beautiful and, uh, young lady. Yes, Aww. and my pic uh, picture of my youngest daughter, <clears throat> Cassie. She lives in Oklahoma with my grandson. Brandon. Now here you are in uniform with the flag, Gail. With yes, your, it's a great uh, picture of you. That when Gail was on the ballot in 2006 for U.S. Senate that uh, Colbert used. I'm familiar and with And of course this <laughs> picture is perhaps the most well known of Gail for real Parker's Because right. uh, I know what this picture is. That. that was the uh, picture you had in 2006 for U.S. Senate, right Gail? It is and we've used it since then a lot. Over and over, yeah. 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 And it's, it's a reoccurring theme. I'm Gail Farrell Parker, candidate for U.S. House in Virginia's District 1. I'm a businesswoman, a retired Air Force veteran, and governmental budget analyst. I'm a mother of three, a grandmother of four. I ask for your vote for three reasons. I want to remove the barrier at the federal level that prevents the building of rail. The current policies say to municipal and state governments, if you build roads, the federal taxpayers will pay 80%. If you build rail, the federal taxpayers will pay 20%. The playing field should be leveled so that our municipal and state governments can solve transportation issues with mass transit. More trains, less traffic. I want to ensure we adhere to the Arms Export Control Act and to the U.S. Constitution so that we have someone to lobby on the sale of arms to foreign governments. The U.S. Constitution stipulates that the U.S. Congress is the approval authority for the sale of arms, not the State Department or the Department of Defense. Arms sales made without the approval of the U.S. Congress are illegal, and therefore we have no one to lobby if we disagree with the sales. And lastly, I ask for your vote because this election is about your tax dollars and our children and our grandchildren's future. The federal debt, now at $17.5 trillion, makes the interest payment on that debt this year the sixth largest expense in the federal budget, just the interest payment. By building rail and stopping the illegal sale of arms which contribute to wars abroad, we can grow the economy, create new echo jobs, cut dependence on foreign oil, balance the budget and eventually pay off the federal debt. Rail returns $25 to the community for every dollar invested. 
Folks, I have faith in building rail and in alternative energy sources like solar, wind, and geothermal. Dedicated passenger rail tracks will greatly improve the quality of life for folks in District 1 and in fact for the entire Commonwealth. Fairfax County is forecast to grow by 1.6 million people in the next 20 years and coincidentally by 1.6 million new jobs. New dedicated passenger rail tracks, more trains, more often, will ensure that folks in District 1 will continue to have viable access to those good paying jobs. Rail will make us safer, help us have cleaner air, cleaner water. We will create new green New Deal jobs, jobs in solar energy, wind jobs, geothermal jobs, rail jobs. Echo for the economy. We can grow the economy and reduce the debt by building rail. That is why I am the best choice in this race. Citizens want new dedicated rail tracks with more trains that run more often Williamsburg to Charlottesville and Richmond to the National Capital Region. Send me to Washington so you, you can count on me to get the job done. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next time on Green TV.